Oh, so tell us about the Eureka Stockade flag on your back. Oh, well, it just it, it stands for freedom. Um, it does stand for freedom. You know, the, 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 the Eureka Stockade, it's a, it's a very important point in uh, Australian history. Uh, it was a, a horrible loss at that time, yeah. but I think this is like the second Eureka Stockade. It's about time we stood up against the government and got our lives back. Yeah, so back in the day, the miners got forced. Uh, it was like a land tax, a mining tax on uh, mine sites. So they were paying tax before they even dug anything up or found gold. And they said, this isn't good enough. We're not happy here. And they ended up having a stockade and a shootout with the cops. But that actually, that event uh, led to... Uh, this country turning into a democracy, actually. Yeah, yeah, that's so right. It was a defining point in the history of Australia. Yeah, true. And it's yeah, you know, some we need to remember. I reckon I've always said we need to make it a public holiday. Yeah, it should be. It's it should a great be a idea. bloody public holiday. Yeah, because it happened. I think it was not long ago, last month or something like that. I seen it on a Telegram post, and I was like, geez, we. We don't even know that that's the significant day in the history of our nation. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I do. Make it a public holiday. I'm all for that. I'm gonna get in. If I ever get an ear of uh, one of these politicians who co often come to one of the freedom rallies, yeah. I'm going to be like, make that a policy. Ah, uh, politician. That's a dirty word these days, isn't it? <laughs> it is. <laughs> Why would we trust any of them, mate? Yeah, yeah, you can't. You it's can't like trust a them. a double-sided coin, aren't they? Yeah. They're lying to us left, right and centre and uh, a lot of people are falling for it unfortunately but uh, things like today it's, it's waking, waking people up. Amen.